The back door to the college football playoff is unlikely to be open for Ohio State or anybody else next weekend. A season defined by almost upsets and favorites finding a way continued during rivalry week with CFP contenders withstanding unranked in-state foes Saturday. Number 1 Georgia had to work harder than it has in years to beat Georgia Tech and complete a third straight perfect regular season. Number 5 Florida State erased a double-digit deficit to beat Florida in its first full game without injured star quarterback Jordan Travis. Number 4 Washington and Michael Penix Jr. used a bold fourth and one play call and walk-off field goal to beat Washington State in the Apple Cup and stay unbeaten heading into the Pac-12 title game. That was easy compared to what number 8 Alabama needed to escape Auburn at Jordan-Hare Stadium. Jalen Milrow and Isaiah Bond connected for a touchdown in the final minute on fourth and goal, from the 31. And the Crimson Tide stayed in CFP contention as they prepare for the Southeastern Conference Championship game against Georgia. As for the second-ranked Buckeyes, it was another painful end to the regular season. Number 3 Michigan, without coach Jim Harbaugh, or Connor Stallions, on the sideline, beat Ohio State for the third straight year. Michigan's players, acting head coach Sharon Moore and athletic director Ward Manuel all refused to bite when asked if the victory validated three years of victories that some believe are tainted. The program is facing allegations of in-person scouting and sign stealing that have led to an NCAA investigation and a three-game suspension of Harbaugh by the Big Ten. I think it proves that this team is a great team, Manuel said. And they can play through the adversity of their coach being suspended. Just really proud of their effort, the way they stick together. They're passionate to play for each other. It's just remarkable. Michigan turning getting caught cheating into overcoming adversity understandably feeds the ire of many fans. The Wolverines are a victory over number 20 Iowa in the Big Ten championship game away from a third straight playoff appearance. J.J. McCarthy and crew will wear the villain's black hats into the postseason and don't seem worried at all about your finger wags and eye rolls. We only care about us, McCarthy said. With only the worst offense in the Power Five standing in the way. If you're looking for a championship week upset, Indianapolis is probably not the spot. Upsets have been hard to find this season. That's how you get five unbeaten Power Five teams heading into rivalry weekend. Michigan-Ohio State narrowed it to four. Washington has dodged the upset bug over the back half of the season more than any of the unbeatens, but the Huskies managed to stay that way long enough to give the Pac-12 something it has never had a championship game with two legitimate CFP contenders. Washington, 12-0, and no.